What's up my meatballs, it's Aaron at Mar. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. Last time, we learned all about the Keyblade, the Heartless, and we agreed to go with Donald and Goofy to explore worlds and try and find their king and our best friends. So now, we have just left Traverse Town and we are now on the World Select menu. The green cursor shows your current position. Select your destination with the cursor. Observe the battle level when selecting destinations. More stars mean stronger Heartless in that world. Alright. So, we've only got two options now because, you know, there's only two worlds in between. Or, two worlds right immediately next to ours. So, we've got battle level 1 and battle level 2. Obviously, you want to go to battle level 1 first because it's going to be the world where you're going to have the least amount of trouble. Alright, so we're going to head off to whatever this question mark world is. Now, this is probably my least favorite thing about this whole game. We travel different worlds on the gummy ship. The heartless ships often give us a hard time. Always be on the lookout during a fight. Your journey will be documented until d documented until you reach your destination. Seek out the missions each world has to offer. Control the gummy ship with the left stick, tilt it up until it descend, and tilt down. All right, basic controls. Basically, it's just Star Fox 64 controls. All right, so you circle to shoot, and you can stop with uh, the X button. Everything else is just moving around. And this is probably my least favorite thing about this entire game. These missions, they're while cool at first, they get to be so tedious because every time you want to go to a new world, you've got to do a new one. It just gets to be a little much. Um, and the, the problem is, like, even once you visit a world, you can't just go straight to it. You have to get a certain upgrade. So that upgrade does come a little like towards the you know maybe the the 25 percent through the game uh you know sort of mark but that's even a little much because like you'll have to go through two different missions in order to get to another world back back to another world so it can be a little frustrating um for the most part i'm gonna cut these out or i won't cut them out i'll speed them up so that way you can at least see um in case you're struggling which you really shouldn't they're really not that difficult but if you uh or if you want to watch them, I guess. But that way it shows that I'm actually going straight to the world and, you know, I'm showing I'm not sucking or anything. But that way it's not like the full length of the mission. Because otherwise you just get to, it's just, it gets to be so, so irritating. I mean, I don't want to make you guys sit through it. I've already got to sit through it once myself. Or, or twice if I'm going to count editing it, but whatever. So as you can see, I'm running out of things to say. That'd be another reason I'm going to speed it up, because there's really nothing to say during this. So, yeah. That's, uh, that's about it. But luckily, explaining this pretty much gets us to our next destination. So, do not fret. We are already here. We have a new high score and Wonderland. Let's disembark. Alright, so welcome to Wonderland, a world based off of Disney's Alice in Wonderland. So, we can't really go anywhere except down this hall, so let's go ahead and do it. Interesting, and somehow, we are, we, we just got, does it feel like we shrunk? Or does, I think that door got bigger, because it was the size of this door at first, but then I think it got bigger. Anyway, let's head through. The Mysteries of Wonderland. Well, let's go ahead and try and uh, go where he was. What the heck? How did he get so small? Uh, no, you're simply too big. <laughs> that tracks. <sighs> Must you be so loud? You woke me up. <sighs> Good morning. Good night. I need a bit more sleep. Wait, <sighs> what do we have to do to grow small? 
Why don't you try the bottle? Over there. I like how the talking duck is surprised the doorknob can talk. Alright, let's go ahead. Lock on. Hey, come on. Come on. There we go. Alright. Go ahead and drink the blue potion. And we become little. Alright. Oh, crap. I forgot to do something. Crud. Anyway, we can go ahead and drink the orange. And we'll grow big again. We need to be big in order to push the bed out of the way. So now we can actually get through the hole because that door is rude and he will not open up. Alright, so we'll go ahead and shrink down again. And this is one of the many gimmicks of this whole world. I really... Oh, there's Heartless. Um, th th since this is going to be technically be your, the first world because it's the world that has the least uh, threatening Heartless, it's obviously going to be the one that players are going to be like, oh, I better go there. And this is really the worst first world. This would be the immediate turnoff for the, my, for the game, in my opinion, if you were a new player. Because this world, it gets so confusing and so... So, you just don't know what to do. It just, it doesn't, it gives a bad taste in the mouth for the rest of the game. Anyway, let's go ahead and head through the hole. Because I don't have the patience to beat those Heartless. This girl is the culprit. There's no doubt about it. And the reason is... Because I say so, that's why! That is so unfair! Well, have you anything to say in your defense? Of course. I've done absolutely nothing wrong. You may be queen, but I'm afraid that doesn't give you the right to be so... so mean. Silence! You dare defy me? Hey guys, we should help her out. We're outsiders, so wouldn't that be muddling? Oh yeah, <laughs> and that's against the rules. The court finds the defendant guilty as charged for the crimes of assault and attempted theft of my heart. <gasps> Off with her head! No, no! Oh, please! Hold it right there! Who are you? How dare you interfere with my court? Excuse me, but we know who the real culprit is. Uh-huh. It's the heart. Anyway, she's not the one you're looking for. That's nonsense. Have you any proof? Uh... Bring me evidence of Alice's innocence. Fail and it's off with all of your heads. Gather as much or little evidence as you please. Report back here once you're ready. Alright, so now we've butted our way into freaking a trial. What the heck? Let's see what the rabbit says. Come on, buddy. Can I talk to you? There we go. Before you, before you sits Her Royal Majesty, the Noble Queen of Hearts. Well, she is mean. Let's see what she says. You'd better bring your evidence soon. Alright. So, let's go ahead and find some evidence. Into the Lotus Forest we go. Who are you? Who indeed? Poor Alice soon to lose her head, and she's not guilty of a thing. Hey, if you know who the culprit is, tell us. The Cheshire Cat has all the answers, but doesn't always tell. The answer, the culprit, the cat all lie in darkness. Wait! They've already left the forest, I won't tell which exit. There are four pieces of evidence in all, three are a cinch to find, the fourth is tricky. Big reward if you find them all. Shall we trust him? 
To trust or not to trust? I trust you'll decide. Oh man, they are really capturing the essence of this this film. Because this movie was this movie and the books are just so so weird. Alright. So let's go ahead and defeat these heartless. We need to find four pieces of evidence. The fourth isn't as difficult as he says, and you get the prize anyways. But it's pretty good. Uh look, there's the first one. But you gotta defeat the heartless to get it, which sucks. Um the fourth you get anyway, you'll just get it slightly earlier than you would, so you can use it a little bit to your advantage. Alright. Come here, you. There we go. Alright, so let's go ahead and first use this Trinity. And go ahead and pick up the ether, the tent, and the potion that we get from it. As well as the ton of magic. That would be good for uh, Don Donald and Goofy. I was about to call him Dolan and Gooby. <laughs> Alright, so there's the first evidence. We obtained some footprints. Let's go ahead and hop up on these shrooms and see what's up here. Aha! We can enter a, a door in the freaking tree? Okay. Alright, I can actually think we can go and get that treasure chest. There we go. And right, let's drop down and get the treasure chest. Oh, come on! Where are they at? Where are these enemies? Nowhere. Alright, there we go. Found Dalmatians 16, 17, and 18. There we go. So there's the first bit of Dalmatians that we found. I think maybe the first bit. Anyways, oh crap. Alright, anyways, let's go ahead and enter the bizarre room. From the tree. Alright, we drop down. There's the second bit of evidence right there. The stench. You can actually see that when you come in, which is pretty interesting. Alright, so we want to head back to the Queen's Castle. And back into the Lotus Forest. The Lotus Forest is basically how you get into all the different areas of the Bizarre Room. There's different entrances like we just found, but there's also different uh, orientations of the room. The room can be upside down or on its side, and these become important in getting items and uh, things of that nature. So let's go ahead and find... Find... Uh, oh, the Heartless there. Let's go ahead and find the last... the remaining two bits of evidence that we want to pick up. Alright, so go ahead and I don't think it's over here, is it? No. It's going to be in one of the entrances. Oh, it's right there, never mind. Alright, so there's the, those are the three easy ones to find. It's pretty simple. And keep in mind, you don't even have to find any of the evidence. Uh, but this is uh, worth a little bit of the prize. Alright, there we go. That one's pretty difficult to do. you got to jump like just at the last second off that... Uh, mushroom there or a little lily pad and you can get that all right now finally so there's the three finally what you want to do is come over here and talk to this here flower yes you heard me give me a potion and I'll make you bigger so go ahead and go to your items hit potion and go down to flower hand it over to him and he will make us big I assume it's a he all right so first you want to do this jump wait let's see what it says why don't you get on? Or you hop on? See ya! It, lo it pushes that down and pushes that up. So now you can access that door over there. We can see a little hole right there. And you also want to come over here. Examine. Strike to spin! Or we can examine the little fruit up here. I'm ripe enough to be picked and eaten. Alright, so go ahead and hit the tree. I'll actually, first, take that and I'll pop it down there. And now what you want to do is hit the tree. That way it'll spin, so now there's a platform that we can grab. Alright, so let's go ahead and eat this again. Well, not eat it again. Eat it for the first time. And now we have two different paths we can go towards, which is pretty neat. Um, both require us to go from over here, so there's that. Um, let's go this way first. I forget which one has the... Wow, that was weird. It has the fourth bit of evidence. I think it's this. Both lead to the Bizarre Room, I know that much. It just depends on... Yes, it's this. This one is the fourth bit of evidence. Alright. Freaking Donald got in my way! Oh, that was close. Alright. And there it is, the claw marks. Which implies that it was the treasure cat. Well, look what you found. Nice going. Now we can save Alice. Don't be so sure. She may be innocent, but what about you? What do you mean? I won't tell, but I'll give you something. And we get... I've received the power of ice and we've learned blizzard. So now we've got both fire and blizzard. This will be pretty important in a bit. Um, so let's go ahead and hop down. And I want to go 
through well actually first let's explain now that we've got we've got these little fire heartless here if you go ahead and use ice you get technical points against them because it's their weakness because obviously ice beats fire or something but that's pretty good so if you're gonna be fighting those guys you can keep that in mind you can get a little bit of extra experience especially early on like I said experience is everything um, so that's something you want to keep in mind all right so we want to come back here actually let's go ahead and get our magic filled back up there we go all right enter the lotus forest once more and let's head back up on the mushroom and now we can access the platform that the uh, the tree spinning uh, actually we can't from here or maybe we can nope all right we have to come up here and go this way and now we can jump on the platform that's right there and we can use it to get ourselves up here into this hole and enter the bazaar room from this direction all right and from here oh lord what are we supposed to do i don't even remember this is bad uh this opens up as a an entrance for uh for something later i believe uh when the room is in a different orientation all right so now that we've got all four pieces of evidence let's go and present them to the queen of hearts and hopefully she will uh be okay and let alice go because she's innocent because obviously alice doesn't have claws all right, so let's go ahead and present our evidence to the Two of Hearts. Are you ready to present your evidence before the Queen? Very well. Council, step up to the podium. Now, show me what you have found. Present our evidence. Well, that's certainly a lot of evidence, but I'm still not impressed. Cards, bring forth my evidence. And she has one bit of evidence. Look how unfair this justice system is. Checking all five would only be a waste of time. All right, then. Choose the one you wish to present. I'll decide who's guilty based on that evidence. What? After all the trouble of collecting it, you dare object and you will lose your head. Now choose one box. So we have a four out of five chance of choosing the heartless uh, evidence. So let's hope we're right. I'm sure. Now we shall see who the real culprit is. The Heartless! You can also choose Donald and Goofy, which is pretty funny. What in the world was that? There's your evidence. Alice is innocent. Ugh. Silence! I'm the law here! Article 29! Anyone who defies the Queen is guilty! That's crazy! She just made that up. Seize them at once! All right, they've propelled Alice in the air. Cards, if they touch the tower, you lose your head. So you know what that means. Touch the tower. These cards will be irritating and they will attack you. So you want to you sort of hit them out of your way, but you want to focus on the tower because the tower is what the fight is all about. But see, we can go ahead and attack these cards and keep them from hurting us. Goofy and Donald will probably take more care of the cards than you will need to. So you don't need to worry about that. They don't even get knocked out, they just sort of get stunned, and then after a while they'll wake up again and uh, continue fighting. So you want to take that time to attack each little wheel and, and then start attacking the actual tower itself. And pretty self-explanatory, a lot of money and a lot of health falls out, so you really want to take advantage of this. Alright, of course these cards are attacking us, so this is not good. Alright, let's go ahead and just finish off the tower. There we go. Donald leveled up as well. Awesome. She must have gotten kidnapped while we were fighting. You fools! Find the one who's behind this! I don't care how! Well, they all start scurrying around because they don't want to lose their head. We could also have attacked the queen. I wish I had shown that off. Quit dawdling. I'm not your slave. You can't tell me what to do. You're not hiding anything from me, are you? Find Alice or else. What are you going to do? We can just leave. And leave the whole world. You can't even find... You, we leave the whole world and you wouldn't even be able to find us. Alright, but so now we got to go and find Alice. So, next time on Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. 
we will go ahead and do that. We will try and discover where Alice went, so that way we can save her. I don't even know why we're trying to help, but... Uh, we're muddling! I mean meddling. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day.